Hey y'all, we're back with this uh, steering clutch assembly out of this John Deere 450 BC. Uh, saved you the trouble, I put the pressure plate onto the clutch drum. Um, these bolts are supposed to be torqued to 21 foot pounds. And I also saved you the trouble of loosening these up because what happens is sometimes they just send these generically set. And when you start to tighten them down, the fingers will pull all the way down to the body inside of here and you can't get a proper torque on this so you've got to loosen the uh, adjusting adjusting bolts and I saved you the trouble of going through those because these little spring clips are quite the booger to get off sometimes uh, let's see if we can pop one of these off and it not take three days alright these are essential to go back on because these are actually locking return spring clips i believe is what the manual calls it so whenever you get done and all your adjustments are finished just make sure to clip them back on here because it helps the finger come back up after you've let off of the uh the release bearing so what we're going to do is we're going to loosen the jam nut and i like to spin them all the way up so i can get a full adjustment so we're going to tighten these back down to move the fingers back up because like I said, when I started to tighten uh, the pressure plate to the clutch drum, they were touching inside and couldn't get proper torque. So we're just going to give it a couple turns. That should work. Get our handy dandy torque and wrench them. And 21 foot pounds. This is no Jimmy, I'm not going to go and you just, I like to do it just a couple rounds at a time, do it pretty evenly. Like I said, they're only 21 foot pounds, y'all. You ain't gotta run these down with your half inch impact. I mean, these little 516s bolts, they won't handle it. Unless you got a crappy impact, I mean, you know, maybe it won't break them. So they're pretty well tightened down. Couple rounds, that's 21. 21. 21. I am using a click style, and you probably can't hear it though. Okay, 21 foot pounds. I always like to, uh, Take the tension back off as soon as I'm done. There's spring in here, it's kind of how it's gauged. I just had this calibrated not long ago. Uh, it's within a margin of a percent of being dead accurate. So, book says you're supposed to use a tool similar to this. I believe it is a John Deere 264. I do not have that, um, but I do have the measurement from here to the clutch finger is. 2.062 inches so what I've done is I've taken my dial caliper I've put my sliding t-scale down here measured it up it's pretty close it's an old bulldozer it'll be fine uh, if you prefer to do it the proper way you can always go and get yourself the uh, 35 to 50 dollar tool that is made for this but if you have the measurement from here to the bottom of your clutch finger or the top of your clutch finger rather you should be just absolutely fine so this one is just a little off so what we want to do in this case is loosen this actually tighten it that moves the clutch finger up as we're going i'm sorry i don't have a better camera can't really show you exactly what it's doing here so we adjust it I like to do it till I barely feel it touch which is right there and you spin down your jam nut make sure nothing's really changed set this down grab another wrench hold this and tighten your jam nut. That's 
good and tight. So now we give it another try. It spun just a little bit, so we're going to do it again. That's just barely touching. Maybe this time I won't lose my grip and lose our measurement. Good and tight. And we're right there at it. So we're just going to repeat this process two more times. Again, we're tightening this adjusting bolt makes the clutch finger tilt like this just till it touches that's him right there Check. Check, check and recheck those. Never hurts. try this booger out. Uh, John Deere says to actuate these a few times before you actually put it in and recheck your measurements and I don't know if you've ever tried to push these things down but they're really pretty difficult. Um, it's not going to affect it that much so you can work these clutch fingers if you'd like if not it's still going to be pretty close with the measurement that measurement again is 2.062 inches from this point on your clutch drum to this point on your clutch fingers. And again, the way I did it is with my sliding T-scale and a bunch of other BS because I don't have the proper tool. But that's just going to show you that you don't have to have that special tool necessarily. You can outsmart it and come up with it yourself. Uh, these clips, you see they have the little catches on the side here to go up under the head of the bolt. What I like to do is I push them down like this and slide them back on. Those are essential for these to come back up, whether you think so or not. Uh, so that is the steering clutch assembly for the John Deere 450BC. Same as the regular B. It is not the same as the regular C. So that will conclude this video. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you. Maybe we'll try and get a video of actually putting this booger in. See ya.